The best thing about working from home is you get to set your own schedule. The worst thing about working from home is you have to set your own schedule. Hello everyone, my name is Sherry from Rolling Acres Education. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is not your first time. And today I want to talk a little bit about the week I had last week and it's probably, as you listen, it's probably not going to go where you think it's going to go. But I've been stressing about a lot of, not stressing, but stressing to you, I guess I would say, about what it's like to work from home, the benefits and the drawbacks and how hard it is to stay motiva motivated and to stay consistent. And I shared a few videos. I shared one about two keys to actually getting going. And I talked about um, how to do your business your way. And then I also shared one about, you know, when things get tough and how we have to keep going. And it's funny that this week, I kind of experienced every bit of that. And I just want to share with you because my week actually didn't turn out like I would have thought it was going to when it first got started. So let me just kind of briefly go through it. I'm not going to go through everything, but I'm just going to want to let you know what kind of week I had. So the best part was last weekend, I went to Florida to see my mom. I don't get to go very often. Gas prices are horrible, but I got a chance to hitch a ride with some people. And so I spent a couple of days with my mom and I was supposed to be there all day Monday, but the people I rode with decided they wanted to come back Sunday night. So we drove all night Sunday night and got here Monday morning. And the girls were uh, with their dad and then Monday when he had to work, he had someone else that was gonna take them. And so I was supposed to have all day Monday off to recover from the trip and get things going and hopefully record a few videos and all those kind of things that I can't do when I have the girls. But Emma was not happy. Her dad dropped her off, and when her dad leaves to go someplace, it's hard enough on her. And then when it's somebody that she's not used to being with, it's even worse. So I ended up getting them um, about halfway through the day. So that was fine. I missed them. I was happy to see them. So I didn't get anything done, and I was already behind because I had been up all night and tried to catch a few hours of sleep that morning, and so Monday didn't go well. Oh, that's okay, because I'm going to catch up on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, find out their dad forgot to tell me that they both had a dentist appointment Tuesday morning and he could not get off from work and so I was going to have to take them. Uh, the dentist is his thing, but okay, they've got to go. If they didn't go, you know, we were going to have to pay a $100 cancel fee and all this kind of stuff. So I went over to get them from their papaw, had to get them dressed and make sure I try to get them to eat some before we left and all this. And then we had to drive to the dentist and then we have to sit in the car and wait until they call us in. And then we go into this area where, you know, Emma can't be up running around because there's all kinds of equipment and stuff. It's not a regular waiting room. We're in the room and they have several people that they're working on. So I'm trying to keep Emma happy and trying to, you know, listen to what's going on with Skyla. And then we switch. And Emma, as you may know, of Vincent Force, she has very, very uh, serious sensory issues. She has oral defensiveness. She does not like anyone messing with her mouth. She's gotten to her, she's pretty good with her dad, somewhat with me, but strangers do not mess with her mouth. And so that was uh, a traumatic experience for all of us. So, and then we were there for a while and it was just, oh my gosh, I literally thought I was gonna have a panic attack. I am not kidding. So there was that. Then Wednesday, Emma had her appointment with her, I can never say, physiatry, that's not how you say it, but it's something I didn't even know existed till I started working you know, with Emma. And this lady is like the best and the only one in this area. And it's an hour's drive to take her there. And then we sat in a waiting room, not a waiting room, examining room, two hours with a two-year-old. And then we had, after the doctor came in for a few minutes, then we had to wait 30 minutes for the lady to come back to fit her for her braces. And so that was the whole morning wasted. And it was not nearly as traumatic as the dentist experience, but it, you know, it was still... Two hours in a waiting room with two, uh, examining room with a two-year-old is not fun. Ended up being, we were there three hours, almost three hours. So that was my Wednesday. Then Thursday, Emma had her regular um, OT and PT appointments on uh, Thursday. And so it was just a rough week. I had a video that I had planned to upload to YouTube. And I don't know what happened, but the, it was awful. Um, it was all red, and I was trying to fix it, and I finally had to ditch it, wasted all kinds of time on that. And so you probably think, wow, I bet you didn't get anything done on your business. No, Saturday morning, yesterday morning, I got up, 
my house was clean, my yard was clean, I had finished a couple of products, I had worked on my YouTube video, I had uh, updated some products. Really? Yeah. Why? Because of all those things I talked about in that other video. Now, let me say something. When you have bad weeks, there is nothing wrong with stepping back if, you know, and taking a little bit of a break from your work. Um, and sometimes things come in your life and you just have to stop work altogether. Like when the situation when Emma was born, I, I wouldn't have been thinking about anything. My business wouldn't have even been on my mind. I would have was so concentrated on her. But this week, although that we don't go to the dentist every week and we don't uh, go have her fitted for braces every week and, uh, and our therapy is every week, these are still things that aren't like tragedy or traumatic experiences. And with Emma, they're really kind of a part of my life. And so I didn't want to just let that totally disrupt me. But here's the thing. Here's what totally made the difference is deadlines, accountability, and lack of having to make a decision. Number one, I had deadlines. I was working on a 4th of July product. Now this is the summer and I don't know if anybody will buy that product because people aren't in school. But I have a rule about when I want to have all my holiday resources up and I've been very good about sticking to that and I thought I'm going to treat this just like we're in school. And so I have to have that, all those 4th of July products done. And I do six products for each um, holiday. So, I mean, it wasn't just like getting one done, okay? So I had a deadline to get a, a Independence Day product done. Number two, I work with Lauren's membership and we have challenges every month and by golly, I'm very competitive and I'm going to finish those challenges. So I have that coming up and if I didn't work this week, I wasn't going to get those challenges done. And I didn't have to make decisions. Oh, I like, I wasn't like, okay, do I work on my business? Do I clean my house or do I sit down and relax? Do I you know, waste time, which I still do. And as hard as I work on my business, I get frustrated about how much time I waste. But all week long, I had things going on that I didn't really have time to waste product. I had to be here and I waste time. I had to be here and I had to be here. And then Friday, someone was coming to my house and I was also getting my mo yard mowed. So I had my yard cleaned up. I had to have my house cleaned up. And I had to have all these things done because I had some deadlines. I had some accountability. And I had, didn't have much time to make decisions. Everything was kind of already planned out for me. I already knew these things I had to do. And even like my habits, I try to walk 10,000 steps a day and drink a gallon of water every day. And I, that has to do with accountability too. My sister and I uh, have this little Facebook page and my sister and I are very competitive. And I'm not letting her get ahead of me on this stuff. So I, you know, I had to make sure that I had my water and steps my steps down to my water drink so my sister couldn't get ahead of me okay so this video will probably different some of i don't even know if anybody's going to watch it but i just wanted to share what a difference it makes being accountable if i was not in that accountability group and the challenges i probably wouldn't have got as much done this week if i hadn't had that deadline to get that independence day thing done i wouldn't have gotten it done I was tired. When I came back from those Tuesday, Monday I was tired from traveling all night. Tuesday I was every kind of exhausted possible from a dentist appointment with those two girls, especially with Emma and her issues. And then Wednesday I was exhausted for driving one hour to an appointment, an hour back and being there three hours. And then, I mean, it was just one thing after another. I didn't want to work on my business, but you know what? Yes. That's the nice thing about having our own business. We can step back. But you know, if I'd been teaching and I had to go to work Thursday, I would have had to go to work Thursday. I would have been like, you know, I've had a rough week. No, I would have gone probably because I didn't want to make sub plans. But the, and I know I'm kind of rambling, but I'm just trying to stress to you the importance of, yes, it is nice to run your business from home. It's nice to kind of be your own boss. But you have to find ways to make yourself work because... It's too easy to turn on that TV, okay? And yes, we have times to relax. I'm telling you, when Manifest Season 4 comes out, honey, I'm having myself a manification, okay? When I find out when it's coming out, I'm going to have a set of things to do, and I'm going to have them done. And when it comes out, I'm going to sit down and watch that show and enjoy it. Yes, we need times like that. We need times when we just need to relax. But we also need to know that we can push ourselves 
when we have to, okay? I'm not saying you have to push yourself all the time, but there are going to be times that if you want to be successful in an online business, you're going to have to push yourself when you don't want to. So make sure you have accountability, you have some deadlines, and you have to, you, you don't make all your decisions on the spot. Make your decisions before and have some things that you know you have to do this, you have to do this, have to do this. Because when you have to make decisions, a lot of times I sit down and watch TV. I'm not going to lie. So anyway, longer than I wanted, but just wanted to share this with you and hopefully it helps some people. I'm not even going to edit this. I'm just going to put it out there. Just remember, you've got this, God's got you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.